Depo-Provera is an injectable birth control that is given every 12 weeks to help prevent pregnancy. There are two different types of Depo-Provera. One is given to you by a medical professional in a clinic, and the other you can give to yourself at home. Depo Sub Q is the birth control that you give to yourself at home every 12 to 14 weeks. The Sub Q in Depo Sub Q is short for subcutaneous, which means under the skin. Depo Sub Q is made of the same medication in the shot you would receive at the clinic, but it's given differently. At a clinic, the medicine is injected into your muscle. Depo Sub Q is injected under your skin, but not as deep as your muscle. This video will show you how to give yourself Depo Sub Q at home and help you decide if it is right for you. You will receive Depo Sub Q to take home during a clinic visit. Store your Depo Sub Q in a safe place where pets and children won't be able to find it and where the temperature will not go above 77 degrees or below 68 degrees. You will have received an instruction sheet about how to give yourself Depo Sub Q. Be sure to read the instructions before you begin. After reviewing the instructions, collect the supplies you will need to give yourself the Depo Sub Q injection. Then, wash your hands for 20 seconds using soap and water. Next, you will choose the area of your body for the injection. You may use either your thigh or your stomach. The area that you pick should not have any scars, moles, or tattoos. It's important to avoid any area that feels bony, and if you use your stomach, make sure that your injection site is at least two inches from your belly button. Once you have chosen the area that you will be giving yourself the injection, use the alcohol pad to clean the area and allow the area to dry. Do not blow on it. Next, you will get the syringe ready for injection. Carefully remove the needle and the Depo Sub Q syringe from the package. Holding the syringe facing upward, mix the medication by shaking it for at least one minute. After shaking the syringe, carefully open the package containing the needle. Do not remove the needle from the package yet. Set the needle down back in the plastic package. Remove the gray rubber cap from the syringe and attach the needle by pushing and twisting it into place. The needle has a safety shield that you will use after you give yourself the injection to cover the needle. For now, place the shield away from the needle so that it will not be in the way when you give yourself your injection. Next, you will be pushing the air out of the syringe. Take the cover off the needle, point the needle upwards, and gently push on the purple plunger until all the air is out of the syringe. Be careful not to point the needle at yourself or anyone else while pushing out the air. If you accidentally push out the medication, call the clinic and we'll help you with the next steps. Gently grasp a large area of skin around the part of your body that you cleaned for your injection. Hold the syringe in the hand that you write with and insert the needle into the skin at a 45 degree angle. If the needle is inserted correctly, the needle should be all the way in your skin and none of it should be visible. Push the purple plunger slowly over five to seven seconds to inject the medication. Make sure that all the medication has been given before removing the needle. Once all of the medicine is injected, remove the needle from your skin and cover the needle using the safety shield by pushing the shield up, then pressing it to a hard surface until you hear a click. Take your cotton ball and press it to the area that you just gave your injection. It is important not to rub the area. If you notice any bleeding, you can apply a bandage. Next, your empty used Depo Sub Q syringe and needle should be placed into a safe container. You can use the same container when you need to dispose of your next Depo Sub Q syringe in three months. Store the container in a safe place away from pets and children. The last step is to mark your calendar for when your next Depo Sub Q is due. Using the chart given to you by the clinic, note the date that you have given yourself your injection. The date that your next injection is due will be to the right of that date. You can always call Tri-County Health Department Sexual Health Clinic if you have questions, concerns, or if you decide you want to change your birth control method. We are here to help you control your birth control.